That's the one that's usually used if we have uh, different corporate folks come in to train their pilots or do interviews on that. Okay. So, and then the great thing about these simulators is that the, um, the panel itself just can actually come off. It simulates a particular aircraft, and then the panel can come off, and we can put another panel on, and then we have another aircraft. So, like this one here is set up for a Cirrus um, SR-22, okay. and in five minutes we could change it over to a Cessna 172. Wow. Um, or we have some multi-engine panels too, so we can actually change out the throttle quadrant, put in two throttles, and do a multi-engine sim. So the, they're flying the um, Cessna 172 right now, and uh, they have um, a student in there that is just starting her flying, so they're doing some what we call VFR, like visual uh, stuff. But um, you can also do instrument approaches. That's what most of the training here is for, is you know for instrument stuff. So you can set in all kinds of weather, um, go to any airport in the world, basically simulate that. So the graphics that is displayed is the airport to go to. So if you wanted to fly in the valley, what you could see on the screen would be the what's the ground law. Or Hong Kong. Yeah. Where, where's one track? So Atlanta or anywhere to show up and you know the graphics will be so if you're flying around you'll see all of the buildings and skyscrapers.